Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Today let's see what's the problem with this Samsung TV. Actually it does power on, the power LED goes off but screen remains black. That is uh, blank blank. Uh, I'll show it to you. Just switch on the power switch. Is the black side. Turn on the switch. As you can see, the backlight is on, but the thing is, there is nothing displayed on the screen. Screen is completely blank or black screen. It shows backlight is on but there is no image on the screen so let's see how to solve this problem I'll just put my camera on the tripod and let's continue with the job first of all plug off plug the AC main cord switch off the wall switch okay it off now we will try to see All we need to do is remove all these screws. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen plus three screws are two of three screws will be under this stand. So let's continue. We will remove the stand. Three screws are under this stand. So let's remove these three screws. Remember that this screw is lengthier than other screws. Don't fix this screw, this screw on any of the other border screw sockets. If you fix, try to fix that, you may damage the TV. See that these screws are smaller. 
and the pitch of this cruise thread pitch is very shorter and this thread is longer which means that this screw is used to fix on the fiber or wood and these are used for fixing on the I love to say that the problem which we have seen it is usually caused the problem which we have seen is usually usually caused by power failure to take on board or different panel that is screen main screen <coughs> now what we need to do is we need to trace whether we are getting power supply to this particular tick on board so let's check the voltage as you can see the power supply from this power supply board it flows to the main board and from main board it just comes here so we need to check power supply to this icon board if we are not getting power supply here to the input through this PC cable we will go back and trace on the main board so let's check with this first and to connect the power supply for that so let's connect the power supply okay. the power is in and now as we have connected the mains power cord be careful that as you can see it's switched on when it is connected be careful that it will not touch any part see that it will not touch any portion of this power supply board only thing is you can diagnose on the main board and this one if you are not getting voltage then we will go back to the power supply we will check first into voltage here as the voltage to tick on board is usually 12 volts so this is negative should be in the ground and plus should be here as you can see here is 12 volts I'll show it to you and zoom it a bit okay this is the fuse and the input of the fuse we are getting 12 volt and output Output also we are getting 12 volt and to this this is the diode 12 volt there is no 12 volt to the diode I think there is some problem here yes I guess you can see it I'll show it to you I'll zoom and show this is not a common problem this may not happen on your TV as you can see on the fuse there is some sparking happened on the fuse output of the fuse as you can see here output of the fuse there is some black spot and some arcing and some coating has come out this may be due to some dry solder or some insect walking here so I will solder this and let us check because here you see I am getting the input 12.5 volt
We are getting input 12.5, output on the fuse is 12.5, but there is no voltage on the diode side. So let's clean this part, solder it and check. So for that first disconnect the mains. Disconnect the AC means. Okay, leave it for a minute or two. Then we'll continue. So remember to disconnect the mains power. After disconnecting, here let us clean the. There is no need to take out the. Take on board. Here, just clean the surrounding. There are two tracks here. One is output of the fuse, and another is nearby the fuse. See that you don't get, don't short these two tracks. So we we'll solder it and check. Because of sparking, there is complete dry solder and the fuse has come out. Let's solder both the ends of the fuse. Don't use too much of solder as well. If you have inner or PCB cleaning solution, you can clean the board, clean the soldered nuts. So now let us check. Whether we have got the done work done. For that I need to connect the power supply, then lift the TV and check it. Okay. should be okay. Yes, you can see image on the screen. So let's disconnect the power supply, fix the back panel, back cover and continue with entertainment and enjoying the TV. Let's see. Okay. Now remove the main score and I would like to tell you one more thing that here in this case we were getting output from the fuse but in your case if you won't get output from the fuse then you can get the fuse from market if you are not with a 3 amp 12 volt amp fuse if you are not getting the fuse in local market you can take a thin wire and see that only single strand of the thin wire you will short from fuse input of the fuse to the output of fuse. 
or you can call uh, to some TV service centers and get the fields from them. Okay. As I had told you earlier, this long screw should be on the long screw with wide screw thread pitch should come here on the main PCB and first we will fix project size and if the fuse is blown off check whether on the output of the fuse there is any short circuit that is diode is short or any other component is short if so if you put a fuse again and it will blow off if you put a fuse with higher rating then again the it may damage the main, uh, main board or the power supply board so be careful and do this repair on your own risk take care and do the repair on your own risk this time inside here in this way okay slide it inside Now oh, let's power it on PC. Okay, as you can see, image on the screen now. I not had connected any input device, so it shows we got no signal. So earlier also there was no problem with the signal, but only thing was suddenly night it was working and morning we saw there was no picture on the screen. So hope this video was helpful for you in solving blank screen on your Samsung TV or any even this can be the cause same icon board can be causing the problem on even a other another brand TVs also. Hope this video was 
I'll put for you. If this video is helpful for you and you comment you and hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.